Hello and welcome to the Stephen Trice podcast, episode 25. Oh, yes, man. That was amazing. This week I'm joined by David Reese. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. Max Smith. Hello there. Tom Cooney. Afternoon, everyone. And <laughs> Joe McGrath. Oh. He's had a wild week after doing a wank in Waitrose. <laughs> yeah. The prices aren't that good. <laughs> um, Tom. Yep. Uh, have you been up to much? Uh, just working out, working hard. Can't um, tell. <laughs> hey, got him. Hey, Max, what about you? Well, have you done anything weird this week or the past seven days? <laughs> so, obviously, this week I had the opportunity uh, to go to London and yeah. entertain Will and Eve for the evening. It How was, was it? Do you know what? Uh, I can't say it was entertaining for anyone. Um, <laughs> least of all the people that are going to be watching it on the Chris and D channel. To give them some context... We're doing a video where we plan a night out for each other. And that includes uh, your outfit, your food, drink, entertainment, and decoration. So I, I got him the best entertainment money can buy, Max. It all started off, uh, you bought a mag magician's outfit mm -hmm. and uh, a big box of, <laughs> of card tricks. Yeah, and, most of money. And a puppet. <laughs> And so, don't don't throw that in as if that was my idea. <laughs> One of us insisted on me house. with this puppet. <laughs> I said I don't want to see a puppet again in my life. But you thrust it upon me, sir. Um, so we get an Uber, yeah. and he drops us outside one tower block, and there's about four in the area. So we're looking around for this one specific one. We get there, the security guard's like, "Who are you?" Oh, we got a friend upstairs. Okay, okay, a bit dubious. <laughs> Pushing the code for Will's room. Yeah. Nothing happens. It's saying it's busy. <sighs> so in my head, I must have got all the numbers mixed up. So yeah. when I tailgate a woman into the building uh, and use the lift... Why Will's didn't you use got... your magic wand? <laughs> 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 That's why she was trying to get in the building. <laughs> There's fucking freak out here. <laughs> Don't panic. I'm a magician. <laughs> <laughs> I get in the lift and Will's floor is quite high. The buttons only goes up to 19 right. so in my head I've got the numbers mixed up and he must be at a lower floor <laughs> yeah so I click a button I go upstairs and I'm outside Will's room banging on it trying to get in and now you told me that he lives with somebody else yeah which I found out was G is it G yeah yeah, yeah. I didn't know this at the time <laughs> So when I'm banging on the door and I hear a little Indian man's voice going, who is this? And you say, who quiet, muggle. <laughs> I said, I was willing. Because I thought this was his flatmate that he lives with. So a random he, Indian man. And he thought you said, are you willing? <laughs> <laughs> so I'm there trying to get into this, I can only assume, a family man's house. <laughs> Don't yeah. like your picture. <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on. So he's clearly looking through the peephole. Yeah. There's me with a top hat. <laughs> a black shirt that doesn't fit. My, 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 my tracksuit bottom's like all the way up to my... my Are you on your tracksuit? <laughs> For God's sake, Nothing else man. Fits. Nothing says a spectacular show like your tracksuit bottoms. <laughs> so I get back in the left because clearly this Indian man does not live with Will and E. Shock, yeah. Um, <laughs> I see the other side of the buttons on. I've yeah. never been in the left with two sides of buttons before. And you've never Never's looked mind. To, to the right. right. Yeah. What a time to be alive. <laughs> I leave the left shocked out of my head. <laughs> what is this technology? Will stood there, so he's seen me. Yeah. Uh, and he's screaming at me and I'm like, oh shit, I'm, in, I'm meant to be a character. So I'm going, hey, only me. He runs upstairs. <laughs> Starts, you know, talking to you guys, I guess. He was speechless, I believe. <laughs> <laughs> so I barge in the room, completely forget everything that... Because we'd, we'd been in the hotel for about four hours, practising yeah. everything we were going to do. The stuff that I'd had delivered, I took it to your flat so you could be the delivery man. Yeah. The food and drink. You didn't even open the bags, you just chucked them on the bed. <laughs> <laughs> and then go straight into... Only me and some <laughs> weird Mancunian voice, which you can't do. <laughs> and you're like, From the outside, it seems like you've panicked. Yeah, yeah, I think so. I think yeah. so. I, I, I ran in the room. I got Wayne Lineker staring at me. Just took you back to Ocean Beach and I leave. <laughs> I sit there. Why, are you Stephen? Screaming? Stephen's going. Oh, add a bit of pizzazz. At my, in my head, I'm like, this is as pizzazzy as it's going to get. Yeah. Forgetting that These I've got. <laughs> forgetting that I've got. 
two confetti cannons in my pocket. Because I, I basically wanted to get Will back for giving me a terrible night. Yeah. Um, so I just wanted to make a mess of his, his bedroom. You did deliver on that. It was a mess, yeah, but not... Did not you let the confetti cannons off? Well, no, I did when I remember that I got them. Yeah. Which is like when Will's talking to Chris about something completely... An hour later. I'm just behind him and I go... Just through his window. <laughs> I mean, you gave him a bad night. Yeah. Well yeah, deserved. You, know, you were yeah. saying about the puppet. I found that quite funny. That you were trying to conceal the puppet, doing everything one-handed. Yeah, you're, you're keeping your hat on. And I was like, I'll let the fucking hat go. Yeah, and then you know, I was like, this is gonna, this is gonna be amazing. And I pull this puppet out. Uh, Will, Stephen says, let the hat go, and then we'll just punts it to the other side of the room. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm happy it's gone now. There's no way I'm going to be able to walk over there and come back again. Whilst maintaining the illusion that I'm a magician. <sighs> oh. So it was a good night then. <laughs> yeah. It's going to come back to haunt me when the video comes out. Oh. What have you been up to this week? Well, last week um, I met Dave's family. Yeah, yeah, he did. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the family, the myth, the legends. Yeah. <laughs> they were they were just by the the flat, so. Went Waiting. down, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Where's Steven? Pitchfork. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've met, I've met Dave's dad now. Yeah. Um, Does it explain a lot? Well, you brought up the uh, the Easter egg yeah, story no, last shit. week. Yeah. And yeah, he didn't bat an eyelid when he confirmed that stuff. He's like, oh yeah, uh, <laughs> not again. <laughs> but he's uh, he's a good laugh. Yeah, 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 yeah. Very yeah. funny. You made a joke about. I say joke. I hope it is. But watch the podcast with his hand down his pants. <laughs> That's my boy. Look at that mess. Gotta call my brother. Gotta call my brother. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh bless him no, that was good did, did you go uh, to the lakes was it <laughs> yeah I went to Carnforth if everyone's ever heard of Carnforth we done a log cabin it was beautiful oh. it was uh, like a lake outside went swimming in the lake found out you're not allowed to go swimming in the lake so that was a, that was a whole thing but then we went on a boat ride on an even bigger lake I had a wee off a boat that was nice thank you well done. Thank you. It was on dry land. Yeah. <laughs> That's off the bucket list. Your dad we was are. on that with glass. <laughs> <laughs> Bless him. He oh, means well. He yeah, does. Yeah, yeah. He does. <laughs> um, now, this week's topic is Great Britain. Yeah. No Britannia. Britannia. So... Obviously, there's four countries in Great Britain. And so what we did was we randomised it to see who would get which country and talk about it. Dave got Wales. Yep. Max got England. Tom got Northern Ireland and I got Scotland. So basically, I've broken down Scotland into just bits. I'm just going to go with my personal experience for a couple of these. Okay. First up is uh, best and worst places I've been in Scotland. Nice. Both are Edinburgh. Oh, really? At different times. Ooh. Okay, okay. So, have you been anywhere else? Yeah, I have. Thank right. you. Uh, <laughs> check it. Stay out. I've been it. to St. Abs. Sounds good. Same baby. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's your nickname on Grind, wasn't it? <laughs> no matches. So, so, the best place I've been is Edinburgh, and that was on tour. Yes. Uh, I really enjoyed how it looks. I mean, I barely left the hotel. But, <laughs> but it, it seemed like a lovely city. From what I experienced, people were nice. How yeah. was the gig? Good vibe. That was good. Yeah. The crowd mm-hmm. there. Oh yeah, the people at the meet and greet. A lot of them had the uh, they don't do take bath not drugs. That was it. Yeah. So a lot of them had that t-shirt that was really popular in Scotland. Oh, uh, right. The Great people were all seemed really nice. Um, anyway, the worst time I've been to Scotland was again Edinburgh, but it was for the Fringe. It was because I was performing. I just just hated it. I was so nervous, and I went there twice uh, in the same month. Yeah, I was just wrapped with nerves. Couldn't yeah. enjoy anything that was going on, especially when you're walking down where the fringe is, and everyone's just got a flyer, and they're like, Ooh, yeah. "Come to the show! Come to the show!" Mm-hmm. The whole city changes, doesn't it, during yeah. the fringe? It's, Weird. Uh, it's a big hub of comedy. Mm. Yeah, it's a big hub of attention seekers. Yeah. Um, <laughs> oh God. I really like the Scottish yeah, accent. Agreed. I used to do a bit in stand-up about uh, how good it is for swearing in Scottish. You know, bastard. Bastard. I like that. Mm. You wee fucker. Oh, that worked. We'll get on to Mumbai later. <laughs> 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 the, the colony is the colonies of, of Great Britain. Uh, worst thing about Scotland, in my opinion. I've just put that I fell down the stairs. <laughs> That's relatable for a lot of Scottish people. What about the stairs? <laughs> They're everywhere. No. There are actually some steep stairs in Scotland. There are. Out in Edinburgh. Yeah. Because there's a lot of hills, I hear. Dave, I'll do the, I'll do the Scotland stuff. Like. You stick to Wales. <laughs> Fucking hills. The stairs, just what, what's the deal with that? You know. Uh, so true. 
and haggis. <laughs> <laughs> so my memory of Scotland being in St. Abbs, so I was staying there for a week. I was doing this weird thing. It was two floors in the house, and I was I was leaning on the banister on the top bit of the landing. Banister came round three sides, and then yeah. the stairs like that. I was leaning both hands like some sort of oh you know wanna be gymnast. And then my arms just buckled because I was so fat. <laughs> but because I was doing it right at the top of the stairs, I just dropped down to the bottom of the oh. stairs. Oh. Fuck you, Scotland, for that. All right. I know, but I love the accent. You know. <laughs> um, next up for me is best export. Nice from Scotland. Uh, I've just gone simple with Kevin Bridges. Best thing to come out of Scotland right, for me. Right, gotcha. Well, he stayed in Scotland, but you know he has ventured out. <laughs> so we're in Manchester once. Oh, when the train, wasn't it by the train station? Was yeah. that it? Yeah. yeah, it's good lad. <laughs> R- really, sort of just you know, see guys on the same level. You know, really bounce <laughs> off each other. Mad banter that. Man. Yeah, 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 I bet. I bet. Sick banter. You weren't there, right? It was just me. <laughs> I'm just imagining it though. Do you know yeah. what I mean? Just in my mind's eye, just two lads, <laughs> top of their game. Yeah, yeah just riffing. Yeah, man, riffing, mate. I know he didn't do it at the time, but when yeah. he got on that train, I bet he got a pen and a pad out. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. yeah. Stole some of your jokes. Yeah, probably. <laughs> he's not, he's not done them on tour yet, but he'll... <laughs> he's bet, getting around bet, to them. Bet, bet in his, to his close circle. If he's ever done Ladminton yeah. and uh, Kevin Bridges, mates, just let me know, right? <laughs> uh, best export from Scotland. Any, any of you got anything you like from Scotland? Famous for its whiskey, of course. Yes, yeah, Scotch. Um, nice. I believe Scotland is one of the I only. believe it's actually Cher. She's not Scottish. <laughs> Is it all week? That's yeah. why we do it, man. Yeah. <laughs> that is why we do it. Yeah, Iron Brew. Nice. I, can say, yeah, I think I think it's the only country that sells Coca Cola, but Coca Cola isn't the number one. Uh, yeah. so really? I might be wrong. That might no, be from a few right, years yeah. back. But uh, does it sell Coca Cola? No, it does. <laughs> Oh, it does. It's banned throughout the country. Yeah. Right. Yeah. At some places it is banned, so we don't right. count them. But it's where ma- it's, it's allowed, mad as it passes through this technology, what, you? what your sensitivity becomes. <laughs> no coke in Scotland. And, no. that crazy. and that's going to go out into the world. <laughs> I know heroin's quite big in Scotland. So, Max, what? what uh... I've been watching a lot of Doctor Who recently. I'm a big fan of David Tennant. Yeah. Oh, nice. Yeah. 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 Agree. Tennant's lager. That's another thing. You've got Scottish. a drinking problem, and it is so apparent in this. <laughs> We've already got You're one okay. wacky guy over there, with Joe <laughs> McGrath. Oh, right. It's been a lot of <laughs> nice poems from uh, Scotland. Name three. <laughs> oh, what? I, just, I don't know any, but I know that... If I hear the word Shaka de Spear... Shaka de Spear. They do a day in Scotland about this poet. <laughs> like, it's a whole day. About it's a whole it's day. It's a Friday. I don't know what it is, <laughs> but, but yeah... I just know they eat haggis on that day and they talk about this poet. Things to do there in Scotland. Oh, nice. Time to put my travel agent hat on. Loch Ness. Oh. That's nice. Yeah. Um, <laughs> famous for its mythical creatures. Nice. Or is it? Find out later in the podcast. <laughs> Edinburgh Castle. <laughs> Castles aren't interesting. Oh, that's uh, so true. Yeah. Castles. Uh, do, do you know what for me? Like these old buildings. What's it? The Colosseum in Rome. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You can... You can look at it on Google Images. What's the fucking point? <laughs> anyway, that's in my list of things to do. Knock it down. Uh, uh, you're on the list. We haven't done anything on the list for a while. Well no, done, Tom. No. Um, it's almost like banking on Weakest Link. Uh, I was looking at Glasgow, and uh, oh. and I looked at things to do in Glasgow, and four out of the ten things were escape rooms. Oh, nice. Um, oh. That's every city. That's what they give you when you look at things to do. It's ridiculous. It's, it's the modern thing, isn't it? We did yeah. an escape room in Edinburgh. Yeah. yeah. Oh, nice. uh, but you still locked me in, didn't you, Max? <laughs> <laughs> and it, yeah, escape rooms, they're popular. Sorry. When was it at its best? I've nice. put. For me, I believe Scotland will be at its best in the future when they become independent. Wow. Fuck us off. And then they can rule the world with escape rooms. <laughs> can you think of a good period in Scotland? Uh, during uh, the Braveheart period. Uh, mm, yeah. I've seen that. When, when that Australians was... ruled the world. <laughs> Famous <laughs> people from Scotland. Here's one people forget. Gordon Ramsay. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Scottish. Didn't he play yeah. for Rangers? Scottish. He did, yeah. But who hasn't these days? Yeah. <laughs> uh, don't, don't come at me, please. Um, <laughs> rowdy bunch. Uh, Alexander Graham Bell. Um, oh, not a clue. Not to be confused with <laughs> Alex the Doctor from Love Island. Right. Um, of him. Billy Connolly. He's a comedian. Great Number guy. One. You a fan one. of him? I've watched his stuff. Yeah. yeah. It's good fun. Sean Connery. He was Bond. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, TB, Tony Blair. Oh. Boo. He's my James Bond. I didn't think Scottish people could become president. <laughs> Tell that to Gordon Brown. <laughs> Tell that to Donald Trump, the most famous uh, Scottish man of all time. And, and I'm sure you're all thinking, hey Stephen, have you got a woman in there? <laughs> Something my mum never said. 
Subo. No way. Yay. Who joins us here? <laughs> Kill me. Sports. Scotland is weirdly good at sports uh, for a small nation. Andy Murray, of course, probably the, the greatest British tennis player ever. Absolutely. Except for Sue Barker. Um, <laughs> yeah, he can't present a TV show like she could. No, no one can. Uh, Chris Hoy. Is he the most successful British gym? Uh, not gymnast. Cyclist. <laughs> no. no. Stepping on uh, best twiddle toes there. Someone else. It's someone else. Or Bradley yeah. Wiggins. No. It's one of those two. No, it's not. Mark Cavendish. Is it the? No, it's someone else. Really? Like, it's someone else. Oh, the, is it someone else? Tom. Oh, it's the velo- the oh, like Jason. <laughs> someone is it's someone from the velodrome who, who races and that. Um, is, he, is he fucking wrong about yeah. this, mate? So Bradley Wiggins, it is. My second answer. Nice. Nice. I like it. Fucking idiot, mate. <laughs> got a whole segment based on facts. His 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 fires are massive. Mine. It's Chris Hoy. Ah, no, uh, ah, ah, Bradley Wiggins. <laughs> mine. Uh, anyway, <laughs> Alan Hansen. Why has he been mentioned? Uh, Kenny Dagleish. Uh, Scotland were good at football uh, back in the 80s, 70s, one of those. Uh, but they seem to make great managers. We're mm. talking Shankly, Ferguson, uh, Alex Ferguson, that is, not Duncan, um, <laughs> Dagleish, Busby, and Moise. Celtic first British side ever to win a European Cup. 1960 something. Nine, sixty-six, <laughs> one of those. Sure. Sixty-nine. <laughs> Sexy numbers. Music. Calvin Harris. He can spin a disc. <laughs> the Proclaimers. <laughs> I have Annie not Lennox. This much depth with my- <laughs> and Lewis Capaldi. Oh. Um, uh, Peter Capaldi's like distant cousin. Yes. Yeah, yeah, cousin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I believe Scotland invented Doctor. golf as well. I know we've moved on, but... Delicacies. We're talking haggis, scotch eggs, porridge, <laughs> and they love a deep-fried Mars bar. Yeah. Oh, that's so good. I've had one from it. Yeah, really good. When did you have one? There's a place in Portsmouth that used to do... A local uh, chippy done it for me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah exactly, local yeah. chip shop. I had some spare batter. <laughs> yeah. When, uh, when you were there so you scored, and yeah. I was just deep frying a few things so I deep fried some chocolate nice. you did Bourneville yeah yeah and that, oh, fantastic. strange taste Bourneville. dark chocolate isn't it Bourneville. well yeah I mean yeah. but it's with the batter it's, oh, no, it's no, wonderful yeah, yeah. really good they're like uh, the Americans deep frying biscuits Britain, deep frying all sorts mm. and my last no, question deep fry it. I got bored uh, <laughs> something you'd change the rivalry between Glasgow and Rangers I feel like I'm scared to talk about one or the other on this podcast because of how uppity they are simmer down lads between yeah. Celtic and Rangers yeah, what yeah. did I say? Glasgow and Rangers. No oh, shit, yeah, thank you, Tom. Sorry, yeah. Celtic and Rangers. Uh, that was Scotland in a nutshell. <laughs> what a nutshell it was. I, I like Scotland, and as Tom told me, <coughs> it's a lot prettier than you realise. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Beautiful country. <laughs> but he was talking about it. Sweet, sweet, scrotum. <laughs> <laughs> Let's turn to... Dave. Uh, I'm gonna go to Max. Oh, hello. <laughs> right then. Our Englishman. Here we go. England. What a country? What's the best and worst place you've been in England? Great question, Stephen. Thanks, I'm mate. happy to answer for you. Um, so a lot of places I've been to in England. Uh, Please do not list them. Okay. <laughs> Please. There's not do. that many. I really. I'm not see a travelling man. No, um, at all. But. <laughs> I have to travel here some days. Um, he does that. Great place, Cornwall. Yeah. Uh, when did you go there? My parents used to go to like if if you're going on holiday in England. Yeah. It would always be to Cornwall. That seems like the place to go. Did you go to Newquay? Newquay, yeah, yeah. Yeah, great place. Nice. Great place. A lot of caravan sites. My parents had a caravan. Yeah. We'd go there. Great time. Uh, worst place. Again, I'm not a travelling man. But I think the place that um, welcomed me the worst was Stockport. Stocky P. Boo! Boo. Got there on the train. The first thing you see is a big tower for the Hat Museum. (laughs) Which, you know, first things first, just brought me down. Oh. If, the, if the main thing that they're Sorry showing off is history hats. and culture, you know, at least they've got something. Okay, so the first thing I do, I get off the train, oh. I leave the train station. There's a shit, shit cinema. Yeah, that looks like it's run down. And it's been demolished. Out, they've got a new two one. Guys outside <laughs> weighing on it. Yeah, and I thought, it was, oh, this isn't the hub of oh, it's culture been, that Tom's built. It's not up there to be. anymore. That it's not well, there good. anymore. Why is Stockport getting money when St Helens has gone to rack and ruin? Invest better, please, UK. Yeah, yeah but you've got a glass museum. Yeah, that's at least two up from a hat. Thank you, mate. Air raid shelters. Uh, <laughs> they're, they're good. Yeah. Didn't, didn't Stockport looks like a bomb to it? <laughs> <laughs> the high street was dead. 
you're thinking, oh, it's meant to be commerce and you know, be money fair, being thrown. Did you go around. on the high street? Outside the yeah. city centres, it is it is bleak yeah. in uh, in high streets. Mm-hmm. From uh, Tom, when you were when you worked uh, for charities, yeah, um, I'm sure you must have seen a lot of high streets, and it's it certainly did it's gone to gone to shit. Yeah. yeah, it's a depressing place to be sometimes. But in areas where they've got big cities nearby, like Manchester and Liverpool, yeah, the towns are a bit. Bleak. They get all the money, don't they? Yeah. What's the best thing about this country for you? So, for me, the best thing that we have to offer is uh, murder mystery shows. Ooh, I'm talking nice. Midsummer Murders, Jonathan Creek, Whitechapel. I think a lot of places like, you know, you watch your American murder mysteries. Do you like Whitechapel? <coughs> yeah. Scary as shit, right. that. It's a weird one. Weird show. Can I throw in Heartbeat? Of course you can. Yeah. 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 Midsummer Murders, though, is the creme de la creme. Yeah. Nice. You know, you've got an hour and a half of yeah. just great storytelling sorry yeah. to interrupt but Dave mm-hmm. you're a big patriot of, uh, of England oh yeah what do you make of Max saying the best thing about the country is Midsummer the Murders, murders uh, yeah. uh, quite offensive oh, well, really? what, would you, what would you say <laughs> said the best thing about England as a whole is the uh, fact that we invented trains in that I forgot what the whole period was called the industrial, industrial revolution the industrial revolution birthed in this city well, in, yeah in yeah. Stockport I believe yeah, yeah. actually that's where the first like thing discussion happened I was going to say that. First yeah. railway is yeah. at the Manchester Museum. Of Do me a favour and just stick in your fucking legs. No, 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 no. <laughs> it's fine, it's fine. Midsummer murders. Yeah. <laughs> so that's the best thing. What's the worst thing? Do you know hooliganism? Oh, yeah. Uh, preach it, sister. You get a lot of that in this in this country. Uh, working in a bar, you see, you know, you... Yeah. you, 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 you fuck me. Hooliganism, man. Fucking savage. Fucking... Hooligans, mate. Yeah, West Ham fans. Ah, oh, fuck off. That's not generalised. Oh, going around drinking frosty jacks. St- you know, I've, I've had people come up to me and be like, yeah, "Fuck you, mate." Like, I could batter you, lad. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Preach. Mm. Some countries do it differently. They though. do. Yeah. They do. Use guns. Things to do in uh, in England. In London, they teach you how to uh, manoeuvre through the city. Yeah. So like going through the sewers. Oh um, really? Yeah, yeah, urban exploring, I believe mm. it's called. Who teaches it? What, it's, like, official it's like loads class. of different schools. Yeah. Did you did you drain. go to school in the sewers? <laughs> sure. Better than a farm. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't think so. <laughs> oh, yeah, true. Hey Max. Hello. It's okay to call you that. Um, <laughs> why would you say England was at its its best? You know, it's top of its game. Yeah, there's a lot of people that would say. Well, not a lot of people, but you know, you could argue it's during the colonial era. The Georgian era. Sure. I don't want to have an argument, Max. All right. I just want to know when you thought, yeah, this Me personally? Do. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's all right all now, about. I'd say. Yeah. Or Britain. Yeah. I mean, I know we'd through COVID rain, and stuff, but, you know, yeah. it's a modern age. There's a lot of stuff going on. Uh, maybe the Brexit thing's a bit shit. Yeah, uh, the Tory uh, government. Yeah. So maybe before all that, so during, what, oh God, Tony Blair. The 90s. Gordon Brown. Well, do you know, it wasn't, it was a good time for... England, Awful. even if it was, even if he was a bit of a twat. A Big Brother was on the TV. Yeah, yeah. Mum <laughs> Celebrity just started. Yeah, that's Manchester stuff that was I watched. Yeah, John Nettles see, on Midsummer yeah. Murders before he got cast <laughs> off. Uh, Max, hello. Hit me with your five most favourite famous people from uh, the UK, um, five. England. <laughs> Stupid. Stupid. <laughs> uh, it's a lot of good people out there. You've got great comedians. Uh, you got the Mighty Boosh boys, mm. Noel Fielding. The other guy. <laughs> you've, you've okay. You've started with Noel Fielding. Oh. I was going to say Julian Barrett. That's fucking left field, mate. Jesus, <sighs> mate. <laughs> Garth Marenghi's Dark Place. Fucking great hell. show. It is a great show. Stephen Merchant, uh, great comedian. <laughs> Could have said Dame Judy Dench. Hey, but um, she's one. not my favourite, though, is she? Oh, true. Yeah. Churchill. Noel Fielder, presenter Churchill. of the Bake Off. <laughs> <laughs> right. Uh, sports. Max, anything? Rob Green, please. Yeah, oh. lovely. Music. Any musicians from the uh, uh, England area? <laughs> the Beatles, please. <laughs> Love that. They're yeah. amazing. They're delicacies. big names. Delicacies. Delicacies. What's your favourite? Fish and chips, please. Yeah. 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 
like roast fish. No. No. David, he's size. Oh, sorry. God, God sorry. damn it. I love a roast. That's you don't know weird. England like he does. <laughs> it's all about midsummer murders and fucking Noel Fielding. <laughs> he's not even my favourite. I hate Noel Fielding. <laughs> you can see a solo show without Julian Barrett. It was a fucking waste of time. And you, and you, you questioned why we questioned you for it. <laughs> I know, but I was... Uh, Noel Fielding. <laughs> It says a lot about you that way you went straight to down the avenue of the mighty boots. <laughs> <laughs> okay, who's your favourite person from England? Oh, it's got, James Bond. He is. It's coming James Baker Golden from the Swan. one show. <laughs> James Bond. He lives in Scotland. <laughs> <laughs> well, he's not from Scotland. He's a British orphan. Played by a Scottish man. <laughs> Scotland is British. Yeah. Oh, this is England. This is England. Oh, oh how good. apt. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> anyway, uh, Max. Anything you change about England? Everything. Oh, they, they were some beautiful broad strokes there. <laughs> uh, let's get on to Stephen Lies. Stephen Lies. Stephen Sweet Little Lies. Lies. This week, Lies. Tim Tim Rooney is our detective. Yep. Back by popular demand. <laughs> Who do you want to go first, Tom? Dave. Okay. I uh, Just remember you got a Fanta bottle there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm allergic <laughs> to orange. Uh, um, no, I... It's stalling, mate. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> I once uh, couldn't go on holiday... Uh, because of uh, my passport issues. Stephen? <laughs> I've been sick in every country of Great Britain. Oh, nice. And Max? Due to some shit dancing, I was kicked out of a wrestling match. Start with Dave. Yep. Uh, basically, the issue was, I was going on a group of holiday uh, with some lads. <laughs> a group of holiday. <laughs> A group of... I tried to go on more than one holiday at once. <laughs> it was a cruise, wasn't it, Dave? <laughs> a group of holidays to lads. Uh, Sir, you can only board one flight. <laughs> I went on a holiday with a group of lads. <laughs> and uh, one of my friends, he was sorting out all the tickets. And where all my friends call me Dave, uh, he wrote down on the ticket that uh, my name was Dave, not David. Right. So when I got to the ticket kiosk or whatever it's called, they said, "Can you show your passport?" And my name's David. So every time they kept pulling me aside, but I was like, "I don't see what your problem is." It's Dave and David, and the yeah. last name's still the same, and the middle name's still the same. Can't just let it go. Did you go on your holidays? I did, I did, but a lot of trouble, like yeah. a lot of trouble. Mm. Every time, as soon as I got in there, pass passport. Right, can you come this way, please? Describe, but like, what is this? And it's like, can you describe your uh, what's it? number on the passport who the fuck knows their number on the passport <laughs> uh, and all stuff like that really yeah yeah, yeah it was a bit of a pain in the ass. but it's I got away on holiday need when you no. go away for a good time exactly good laughs good times good yeah. vibes I'm sorry to hear about that thank you <laughs> yeah. Max uh, some shit dancing got you kicked off yes. wrestling so sure. I went to uh, Butlins or one of those sort of holiday camps where they uh, provide entertainment for all the Holiday goers. Were you there as a as a guest or were you yeah. working? No, I was I was there as a guest. Uh, okay. It was uh, I was with my cousins and my aunt and uncle. What uh, was the sleeping arrangement? Uh, they had a, sort of like one of those. <laughs> like, <laughs> technically, you yeah. Don't talk about um, it. <laughs> it was like one of those camper vans that they have. Yeah. Like the holiday homes. Sort of yeah, thing. Yeah. I had a bunk. They had a little room. Oh yeah. And my cousin was in the other bunk. Okay, just one of the cousin. There's another cousin. He right. was in another like upper area. Fast forward to the wrestling match. There's a wrestling match, uh, and I'm in the crowd. And uh, the issue was before I'd gone into the wrestling match, yeah. um, I was in the in the grass outside, <laughs> like sort of with my cousins having a good time. Sorry, can you just show me what a good time looks like again? <laughs> there you go. For those listening, uh, Max is just shaking his body from side to side, uh, yeah. arms in the air, like he just doesn't care. And I'd obviously stepped in dog feces. Why is that obvious? Why are you dancing? <laughs> oh no, he's, something's gone wrong. <laughs> he's a uh, jiving. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and then I went into the rest of the match. <laughs> and the scent of said dog feces yeah. um, got a few complaints. And I was asked to leave so I could go wash my shoes. <laughs> so you said some bad dancing. No, shit dancing. I was dancing. Oh, no, nice oh, fun shit. there. Yeah. Shit dancing. Yeah, yeah boy. So I said obviously. Okay. Uh, and wrestling match. Like, was it professional wrestlers or was it like... Uh, it's, a, it's a sort of, you know... Yeah, I, I Triple don't H. Was, <laughs> <laughs> the Undertaker was there. Uh, uh, it, was, it was... 
don't, I don't okay. fucking know. But it was a wrestling show put on by a Excuse company. Excuse me, sir. Right, okay. Is this, is this professional? <laughs> yeah, I assume it was professional in some instances. They were getting paid for it. Right, fair enough. It wasn't just some randomers from the holiday. Yeah, but I mean, like, was it kind of, you know, with a narrative, that kind of wrestling, or was it like amateur kind I wasn't of just there long enough grappling? Know. You know, got kicked out, mate. got kicked out within the first five Fine, fair enough. Cheers. Stephen, what was yours again? Yeah, boy. Uh, I've been sick in every country of Great Britain. Can you name them all? <laughs> uh, big sick, uh, little sick. Uh, you've been sick in England. You live in England. That makes sense. Why were you sick in Wales? Oh, that's good. Uh, so my sister went to university in Bangor. Yeah. And I was with my dad, and he lives in the Wirral. <laughs> so we were going on the Saturday to go and visit my sister. Yeah. I wasn't well, but because he doesn't visit her often. Uh, Bangor. <laughs> Get out, Joe. So you're uh, on the way to Bangor. Yeah. <laughs> to be clear, when I say I'm going to visit my sister, uh, I'm on my way to a place in North Wales, but I'm not well. Right, okay. okay. I'm feeling really tired. Um, just not with it. <laughs> but you've got a Bangor nonetheless. Well, my dad was going so, anyway. He's going to see his, right, his daughter that he doesn't see often. Then when I get there, I'm really unwell. So they go out for the day, but I stay there in my sister's uh, like dorms. Thankfully, nobody knocks on. Uh, <laughs> But I'm, I'm sick there. Okay. Yeah. Makes sense. Uh, why were you sick in Northern Ireland? So it was the last show on the tour and I'd had, I'd, I'd just started trying cider. So um, I had a few ciders there, didn't sit well with me, but we'd, we'd been, been out for the show and all I'd had to eat was like snacks that I'd got from the meet and greet, so a bit of chocolate. And then we drank and that just didn't sit well with me. So that one was two fingers down the throat. <laughs> but it still counts. Yeah. Uh, and in Scotland, I assume it was something to do with fringe. Oh, no. No. No, no Scotland, Scotland was around St. Abs when I was... We went there a couple of times, but I was about 11 years old. And it was at the start of the week. My mum got me a basket. So uh, it's where she just lets me fill up the basket with whatever I want in the supermarket. Um, but I just did it with a load of cheap chocolate. But, but then she'd got me a, a box of lint uh, to last me the week. Um, after the first night I gorged about eight tenths if you will or four fifths whichever way you're looking at I'm a fat fuck um, and then and then I was sick one truth yeah yes one truth I think Stephen's telling the truth oh no uh, Yes, uh, I hope Dave's not telling the truth because I, I don't think that's, that's, that's I'll go Max then uh, congratulations well yeah. done thought he had you too late though I know yeah, he's, he's on the plane to Bordeaux yeah, yeah. Uh, got you a little bit though <laughs> no you did get me a little bit nice one. give you nice that one. much yeah. tends to be nervous and spill my drink <laughs> <laughs> it's stupid now I was torn, but I just thought, uh, mate. You know, it's when you when you were doing this. I don't know, just, hey, hey, Max, what does what does Tom's penis look like? Because his pants have been pulled down again. <laughs> Ugly. Yeah. <laughs> Ugly dick. <laughs> it's shriveled. And yeah. Uh, no, let's go to let's go to our wacky mate Dave. The whales. Yay! Yay! And, and this is where he starts rattling off facts about the humpback. <laughs> 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 Fucking hell, Dave. <laughs> um, so. So, uh, the uh, first question is... Uh, <laughs> first question is... Uh, I've done no research. <laughs> I have some questions for you about my Wales. Uh, could you tell me? I, I've never been to Wales, so uh, there goes the first question. Uh, have you? No, I've never been. My girlfriend's dad is Welsh. Yeah. Uh, she tells me every time where he's from, but I can never remember. It's in the valleys. Valleys. You see, hey. um, not a clue where. So, <laughs> next question. Um, best and worst things <laughs> about yeah. Wales. So, I'll start off with my worst things about Wales. <laughs> is the fact that the language is weird. Yeah. Um, like it's very. It's the oldest language. Is it in Britain? Wow. So it's, it's before it's, English. It's but it was Proceeding. when the Celtics, Celtics, Celtics were yeah. around. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So before. Um, the Roman invasion and all that. Yeah. It's, it's, very, it's very cramped in Wales. Because like where they don't build, like it's very hilly. 
so you don't get yeah. a lot of things. It's very cramped in Is small. T- apparently, <laughs> I've done. Uh, I've done some research. Apparently, I've done no research. But, uh, <laughs> I've done. From, from what I can gather from that, there's a lot of empty land. Yeah, there you is. just that can't build been, on it. Yeah, Scotland so, would be the same, wouldn't it? Yeah, exactly. So you got Cardiff and Swansea kind of in the south, uh, and then there's yeah. a lot of nothing. Uh, I get, yeah. Yeah. And it's very hilly. And for a person like me, I'm very lazy. Can't be asked to walk all the time. Can't be asked to go there. So, <laughs> yeah. Apparently, like these kids have to walk up a mountain or a hill and then back down to get to school. It's, it's, not, it. it's not, you know, Red Nose Day. No. You wouldn't see a fucking documentary Literally. about them. Like, right, please help this kid get Lenny to Lenny Henry stood there in real, going... Mm. <laughs> <laughs> poor, right, Oliver's, right. poor Oliver's got bad calves. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but the things I like about Wales is... Uh, you won't like it, uh, but it's the castles. I love a castle, mate. Yeah. I, Wales has the biggest, lo- largest amount of castles in Britain. Wow. Over 600 castles they have. Wow. Over 600. Why don't you stick some people in there? Exactly. Do you know what I mean? Just yeah. help them out. Go back to the way it was in the old times. Uh, the scenery in Wales is lovely. Yeah. It's a bit yeah. like, like. So you're told. Yeah. 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 <laughs> so Wikipedia says. Uh, and another thing I like is the, the funny accents. I think they. Uh, They're wacky, aren't, aren't they? they? Wheels. We, uh, we we go down to the pub. We do. I can speak uh, not Spanish, Welsh. <laughs> can you? Well, I can say uh, fish and chips in Welsh. Nice. Go on, give it a go. Panado de. Panado de. Panado de. Panado de. So much cool. Um, they have in Wales the longest name town Ooh. in the world. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And uh, I'm going to try and pronounce it for you today. I have no doubts about this. Uh, so I give. Uh, I'm going to give it as best as chance I can go. I've already forgot. Lot build up. So, uh, <laughs> so, don't put me off, Tom. Right, uh, go, 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 go. That sounds a little bit more Arabic. Good, yeah. uh, <laughs> the issue is, I don't, very know, offensive. Uh, I, don't, I don't know enough about, about it to it. say if you're good or bad. So I've been to Wales and I don't think that was good. <laughs> thing is, though, that could have been perfect. <laughs> no, no, it's def- not. It's it definitely it wasn't. I've got Welsh family. Really wasn't. I've never done that. Do you want to hear my voice recording? It's a lot better. That's Spanish. Panguere. I wasn't. Oh my god! And and that took me two days. Fuck off! Not even that close. Sounds about right then. I was was proud of myself. Oh, and uh, um, another good thing that's come out of Wales is Gavin and Stacey. Yeah. Sure. So about the Welsh writer Ruth Jones. Yeah. Ruth Jones. So yeah. And oh, crazy. Yeah, yeah. Built in. Barry James exactly. Corden you could have talked about him with your England bit couldn't you I hate him you know one of our <laughs> one of our great exports thank James god he's gone Corden. <laughs> let's keep him over there yeah <laughs> <laughs> what, about, what about famous people from Wales famous Dave? people um, <laughs> Mr Jones so uh, yeah Tom Jones he's a famous musician uh, singer to be yeah. precise uh, you've got uh, Anthony Hopkins oh. who's the actor from Silence of the Lambs yeah yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. you know Catherine Zeta Jones. Yeah. Yeah, she's from I Wales. Tasty Minx. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> That's the best sign Wales if you ask me. <laughs> uh, oh, who's, the, who's, the, who's the blonde singer, Dave? <clears throat> the, she's an opera singer. Oh, yeah, oh, there's a lot of opera singers from Wales, but I don't oh, know. What is her name? <laughs> Catherine Jenkins. That's it, yeah. Catherine Jenkins. Yeah. Charlotte Church. That, Charlotte Church. Yeah. A lot of opera singers. Not yeah. the guy who won. Who's, who's, the the snowman? Snowman? who's the snowman guy? Alan Jones. Yeah, oh, there really? you go. Him. I didn't know that. It's like it's like Scottish has got yeah. the football managers. England's got shitty comedians. Yeah. And they've got that's, opera singers. That's we've proved today. Terry Jones from Monty Python. He was yeah. Welsh. Yeah. Uh, Taron Egerton from Kingsman, the main guy. Gareth Bale. Christian Bale. Oh, yeah. Batman. He's from Wales. Appreciate He's it. another one like Gordon Ramsay, you forget, don't exactly, you? Exactly, yeah. exactly. Gareth Bale, Ryan Giggs. Yeah. yeah. Got them. And uh, who's the sporting guy? Boxing person, Joe Kalzaki. Mikey, Joe Kalzaki. and I found another guy Good. called Gavin Reese. Spelt my way as well. Wow. Nice. Uh, uh, what about that. musicians? We've done the we've done the opera singers. Yeah, Tom Jones. That's it about music, really. Delicacies, Dave. Delicacies. Uh, they, they they like a dish called cowl. Uh, it's basically a, bro- a soup. Nice. Made with uh, leeks. Yeah. And potatoes and swedes. <laughs> I once had a leaky soup. I poured it in a colander. <laughs> 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 
That was for Max. That was for Max. Yeah. They uh they also do a Welsh rabbit, which is basically cheese on toast. Is it a nice cheese? I thought it was rabbit or something. Yeah, yeah. I thought I was a bit disappointed. Oh, just a goofy Dave. And and they do another thing called Glamorgan sausages. I'm probably pronouncing that wrong. No. Glamorgan. Glamorgan sausages, which. Sorry, this this guy's never been to Wales. Which again is full with cheese and yeah. leeks. Um, wow. Fun facts for you about the leeks for Wales. It's because the patron saint of Wales is Saint David, and during it, uh, during the war, one of the wars, I don't know, pissed I don't know. himself. <laughs> he said, "Put wear leeks on your head, so then you can differentiate what soldiers you're fighting." And that's why uh, the that's leeks why they are... lost them. <laughs> what would you change about Wales? What would I change? Oh, um, it's a bit boring. Uh, uh, well. It's a bit boring. Yeah. Uh, like, uh, for me, I'm not really a sightseer person, so if you like no. sightseeing, you'll love that. But they've got loads of castles, and you said you like castles. Oh, shit, yeah. I love the castles. <laughs> castles. Um, <laughs> what would I change? Probably... Uh, Ch- change the fact that you've not visited. There not you visited. go. There you go. Nice. Well, well, done, well done, Tom. Well done. Stephen Price. We'll do that quickly. Nice. That's a fast one. Uh, the last dance was Woolworths. I was had it? a nice hot meal in Woolworths. Oh, didn't know they did. Didn't know they did hot food. Oh, oh yeah, it was a treat. It was a treat. At least in nice. St. Helens they did. Ah, oh, right. I did um, a Woolworths in Stockport. Oh, no, yeah. Oh, God. But they didn't even have uh, anything in there, did no. they? The door. No. Yeah. All <laughs> <laughs> oh, right. All oh, right. Oh, right. It's good. It's good. It's a great shop. Here we go. <laughs> We're going to the 28th of October, 2003. Ooh. Spooky. Near Halloween. Oh, it's 2003. <laughs> yeah. 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 Um, on Saturday, I went to a Halloween party. <laughs> so me. We played two games, Pass the Skull and Duck Apple. I was being a blank. It's not the C word. <laughs> my sister went to the cinema with my mum. I forget that last bit. <laughs> <laughs> so it was Halloween. What was I dressed as, basically? Right. Um, oh. Ooh. Yeah. It's a tricky one. There they are. We could be on for a rollover. Nice. If you know the answer, then please reply to the tweet at Tries Podcast on Twitter. And yeah, we've had we've had two minutes in a row. No one gets this. We will have a rollover. Anyway, Tom, Northern Ireland. <laughs> right then. Uh, so Northern Ireland, quite a young country. Yeah. Uh, less than a hundred years old, so oh. it doesn't have the history of the others. Uh, Tom Soldi thinks less than a hundred. <laughs> 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 There's Northern it. Ireland there. <laughs> so uh, capital city Belfast. Nice. Population 1.9 million approximately. Uh, Favourite chocolate, Cadbury's Dairy Milk. <laughs> Um, that's just Todd. Although, although in joint second, uh, uh, bounties and fries, Turkish delight. Oh, so, nice. A oh, Turkish delight. Yeah. I hate Turkish delight. Joint second. I don't know. mind a bounty, but I, I, I do turn my trouble. nose up at a Turkish delight. Mm. <laughs> a few famous sons and daughters: uh, Van Morrison, Liam Neeson, Liam Neeson, wow. Eamon Hones, Christine Lampard, formerly Christine Blakely. Blakely yeah. yeah. Who uh, used to impersonate you, a lot, didn't you? Yeah. Oh, Tom, you stitched me right up there. Oh, Tom. <laughs> no. Oh no. No, you're not going to. <laughs> you don't get a chance. You can move on. Yeah, good. <laughs> I will. Um, um, and Christine Blakely. There we go. There we go. <laughs> the, the, the issue with that is, is I am saying a name which sort of ruins the. Uh, it's yeah. not the right name now. Turn <laughs> it Lampard. Doesn't work for me. <laughs> Blakely. Uh, home to the Giants Causeway. Beautiful kind of natural. What is that, Tom? Uh, hexagonal um, land formation. Uh, on the coast. That sounds wacky. Yeah, it's, Amazing, it's absolutely stunning. Intriguing. Uh, not been myself, obviously I've seen images of it, but it's on the uh, the wild Atlantic coast of Ireland that kind of comes down from Scandinavia, where the cliffs of Moher are, uh, and that kind of extends through Southern Ireland into the north as well, so uh, well worth a visit. Uh, the world famous, uh, actually voted the best tourist attraction in the world, uh, the Titanic Museum. Oh, oh there you so, go. What's that about? Well, obviously the Titanic was uh, built in Belfast, um, so the museum is on the, the the site of it. They do, do you know what? I, I've not obviously not been myself, but they do something amazing with like holograms and stuff, and you can kind of see it being built. And oh, yeah, yeah so that's you got like the two pack hologram. Yeah, yeah, of course, much like two pack. He does appear in it sometimes. Yep, no yep. glitch. <laughs> I'm Captain Two Pack, yo. <laughs> Don't forget uh, to brag about that though. Building the Titanic. Sorry, but they. Be- oh yeah, because it it sunk. Done the one thing. Sorry, they spoilers said it there. Do. But- yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. True. Uh, so Ireland was partitioned by the British government, so they separated the uh, the north and the south. Uh, Why? So, so basically, uh, Ireland have been under British rule for hundreds of years, and there's always been a clamour for a united Ireland. Yeah. Um, a lot of the, um, the, the 
British colonists and stuff uh, settled in the north, where tra- traditionally there was better land and it was wealthier. Um, yeah. Obviously, for them being from them being there over the years, um, the Protestant North and then the South was a lot poorer, a lot bigger. There's 26 counties in the South, and there's only six in the North. So they partitioned it off uh, in 1922. Ireland, Southern Ireland, became the Free State or the Republic of Ireland as we know today, and the North became Northern Ireland. So if you're born in Northern Ireland, um, because of uh, obviously the the partition was, you know, out of the hands of the Republic, you can still opt to take Southern um, ah. passport. Right. Fair so enough. you're British at birth, but you can be. So lots of people, you get lots of people born in the North that kind of opt to represent the South at football or whatever, or just take a passport. Yeah. So um, mm, cool. Good idea. Yeah. Uh, the, the troubles were because there were still some Catholics living there. Mm-hmm. Uh, they were obviously a minority, and they didn't like the fact that they had no political power. Um, they didn't didn't want to be ruled by Britain. Um, and then the Protestants didn't trust that there was people living in the country that clearly wanted to bring down the uh, the Union. Yeah. So for many many years uh, they were, you know, obviously at oh. each other. You'll know Bloody Sunday when. Uh, to avoid civil war, song. yeah, yeah. <laughs> British sent the troops in, um, and yeah, just opened fire on a on a Catholic demonstration. So. Oh, evil! Uh, in 1998, I think it was when they finally had the Good Friday Agreement at Stormont, and they agreed to share power. Yeah, and, uh, someone from the Catholic and the Protestant delegation ruled the country together, and since then it's been plainer sailing. But um, yeah, still, there's there's still a clamour in some parts. Always for a bit of tension. A United yeah. Island, but it was agreed Together. that it would never happen. Unless the people of the North voted for it. So, okay. Uh, oh, I like not, the accent there in the Northern Ireland. Yeah, yeah I'm not going to do it because uh, I've not I've not practised, uh, but you're probably going to give it a go. No. no? I've shouted Northern Ireland before in an Irish accent. Done my Christine Blake thing. I'm not going to perform for you, Tom. <laughs> but yeah, you like the accent. Yeah, it's yeah. good. So that's good. good. Uh, also, in uh, on the Bushmills site in um, in Northern Ireland, it's the oldest ever uh, whiskey distillery. Does that mean it's the best whiskey because the older it is, the better? No, it doesn't mean that. Um, I think it was 1604 or something, or 1608, but uh, it's, it's it's very reputable one. Very nice whiskey, Bushmills. A few so, questions. Uh, best export? From Northern Ireland. I don't know. <laughs> best import? What, George Best? Of course, George Best. Um, He's the best. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> fantastic. Yeah. Best uh, export. One of the best players of his generation. Can I, can I have a Northern Irish delicacy? The thing is with Northern Ireland, because it's only only been around so long, uh, a lot of their um, so they drink a lot of Guinness. A lot of the a lot of the stuff is very similar to Southern Ireland. Uh, they do have, you know, there's. I'll tell you what's great about um, Belfast. Having not been there myself though, uh, they have a lot of murals painted on the building. So lots of uh, you know both sides kind of for the history. Uh, famous people so, during. Is that a delicacy? <laughs> It's not delicacy, mate. Sweet okay, art, mate. Should we, should... <laughs> no, I've I've, uh, I've not looked at delicacies. Uh, I gave you the, I gave you the chocolate. Just, just be honest with us, Tom. Wow. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, I gave you the chocolate. I know you've done is waffle on yeah. about the there's fucking a, giant there's some lovely parks there. <laughs> what about the food? <laughs> This is my segment, you know. No, it's not. I presented. I presented my uh, research on Northern Ireland. Top five. Uh, Famous people. Well, I gave you some, didn't I? I, I gave, gave you Van Morrison, Morrison. <laughs> Liam Neeson, Eamon Holmes, Christine Can we Lampard. Have some musicians, please. Uh, Snow Patrol. Oh, uh, really? I didn't know that. Boring. I think. Anyone else? <laughs> uh, Van, well, Van Morrison, there you go. Anyone else has said? Uh, no, not off the top of my head. Okay. Any solo singers? Enya is from Northern Ireland. Is but she? She nice. does not identify. She, she identifies sing? as Irish and she lives in Dublin. So. A lot of uh, Game of Thrones was filmed in Ireland. And Line of Duty. Really? Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. You know? Good show. Yeah. Game Very kind of a mythical history in that sense, like lots of stories and yeah. you see a lot of uh, yeah. a lot of these shows, you know, like Game of Thrones and yeah. stuff and take inspiration from uh, the folklore of Ireland. Mm. Nice. Leprechauns, is that Ireland? Yeah, yeah Leprechauns. Yeah. 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 Rainbows. They love a story. Um, yeah. <laughs> Pot of gold. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. Turkish delight, though. I can't get over that. Yeah, the fuck likes a Turkish mental. delight. Yeah, that's awful. And bounties. Bonkers. <laughs> that means it's time for. Kill a few seconds. <laughs> <laughs> it's time for IMAX. <laughs> 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 
Um, sorry, sorry to pour a dampener on this. It's come to my attention yeah. that since you won the poll, you may have got a little bit comfortable. So after last week, uh, a barnstormer finished. of an episode. <laughs> had not finished, Max. But neither have I. Just like you cut me short, I had to cut you short last week. Because uh, in your own words... It was... Sorry to, sorry to sorry. you know, uh, break the fourth wall here. You said it was shit. Okay. The fourth one. I thought it was <laughs> broken. What? I spent months perfecting yeah. this character. I've been saying nothing but fresh new fucking movies. Sorry, 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 sorry. Yeah, rivalries aside, I thought last week was really bad. I it was, yeah, was awful. Yeah, it was. I couldn't, no, it I couldn't hear what I couldn't hear what was being said. Like, That's sick. Um, all I could hear was eat shit. <laughs> uh, Max, look, you've got to you've got to bring back the IMAX that the audience knew and loved. It used to be Peppy. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah what happened yeah, yeah, to yeah. Peppy Smith, eh? Hey. Peppy Smith did die, but like <sighs> Jesus Christ, he has been reborn. Depending oh, yeah. on what you believe. <laughs> Get back in character. Hey guys, uh, IMAX has hit a bit of a snag this week. Uh, after last week, we were cut short, oh, which is infuriating because, as you know, uh, with my audio journeys, it's sort of like a journal of my doings, comings, and goings. This was a fucking roundabout of a journey, mate. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Just kept going on and on. Yep. Same but like a thing. It wasn't nice to listen Same to. Same thing. But like a roundabout. Same thing. In the middle, there's something beautiful. Uh, maybe. What roundabouts yeah. do you look yeah. at? Just artistic ones. Sometimes there's a there's a divot in the grass where a <laughs> yeah, car's yeah. ploughed through it. <laughs> Sometimes. I mean, what did we miss by that? Was a car off? crash. Whoopi Goldberg coming in at the end. Yeah. She wasn't in that one. I don't. Was think, she not? Maybe. I'd... Come on. She no, has to be lying. honest. Be honest. <laughs> it's right. Whoopi Goldberg. Anyway, Max. This week, IMAX. Uh, it's all about Britain for me. Great Britain, to be precise. No, England. That's what I meant to say. This week, IMAX is. Oh, fuck me. I'm no thanks. <laughs> Touching my breast. Watch that screen. Watch that screen. <laughs> That's what you'll be IMAX. saying after you watch this IMAX. Watch that screen and watch the hit movie This Is England. Okay. Oh yeah. Whoa. Are we gonna play it on here? Sure. I remembered uh, when me and my good friend Dave here uh, shadowed Stephen Graham mm-hmm. as he was getting into character as did. a combo for the hit movie uh, This Is England. England. Yes. Yeah, so here's what happened. Welcome to the IMAX experience. Enjoy the show. Wow, Dave, today truly is a beautiful day. BAFTA Award nominee Stephen Graham has allowed us to shadow him as he prepares for the hit movie, This Is England. Oh my god! I know how much you love Britain, so I thought this would be a right treat for you. Thank you. Safe, G. Oh look, here comes Stephen now. Oh, I should warn you, he's mad into method acting. Just act normal. Hi, love. Bonjour. You idiot, Dave. Stephen's character doesn't like foreign words. They scare him. A little fucking whippersnapper. Please forgive him, mate. He's nervous as all. Shall we go for some food? What do you fancy, Dave? An Indian. Oh, for God's sake, Dave. Let's just go to this conveniently placed McDonald's. Oh, shit, what am I going to order? I don't know. What does your dad eat? My dad once ate my brother's shit by accident. <laughs> fucking cheap and easy. Yo! I'm a film reviewer, not a comedian. Anyway, here's our food. What a treat. Oh. What's wrong, mate? They forgot my pud pud. Can I have yours? No, mate. Oh, come on, lad. You don't need it. You got two. I don't care. You're not having it. I will pry that pud pud from your cold, dead hands if I have to. Oh, shit. Here comes the waiter. Hello. My name's Ryan Locke. This fella was robbing my pudding. He's got two, though. I'm a growing boy. I need my milky treat. That's what this nation has been built on, pudding. Fuck, fine. Servant boy, get me a pud pud. Are you okay for water? Yes. This is pudding. Shut up. Anyway, what do you think of IMAX? This breaks my fucking heart to say it. Can't stand them. Well, as a character who hates minorities, it's odd because you, you've become one because a majority of people actually do like the show. Um, so thank you. Oh, wow. He's, he's back with a, a bang there. Back with a vengeance. Yeah, yeah. My, my favourite part of that has to be the, the emotion, as she said. Yeah, yeah. Here comes the waiter. <laughs> <laughs> my favourite part was when you said BAFTA award winning actor. Because yeah. you didn't get nominated for a BAFTA until years after doing BAFTA. <laughs> oh, yeah. How do you know that? How do you know so much about Stephen Graham? Because it was one of his breakthrough films. Yeah, anyway, yeah, yeah, I'm, actually, I'm such a good reviewer that I can tell. <laughs> that That's it, you get win. a scent for these yeah, things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, know. you hang around enough celebs as I do. Yeah, yeah. You understand it, them. I'm going to win a BAFTA. 
Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so, should we go out in the hallway and kiss for a bit? Yeah. And then, <laughs> yes, please. I would. So just to celebrate how good that. It's just great to have Ilax back, isn't it? Yeah. I'm, I'm going to buy you the best champagne this side of Torquay. So yeah, it was really good. Hello yeah. there, champs. Oh, How's oh, it going? Oh, 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 it's good yeah. to be back. Oh, it's, oh. it's good to be back. Oh, we're not, we're not interrupting, are we? No, 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 not at all. Who's this fucker? This yeah. man. <laughs> you don't want to just use the screen. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you go for it, well, I'm sitting hold you. I just can't even yeah, resist. Yeah. That's me boy. That yeah. <laughs> fucking love him. Oh, it's great. Yeah. It's good to be back. Yeah. It's like nothing's yeah. bloody changed. This we got Looney Cooney. We got Reese's Pieces. That's changed. Sorry, I shouldn't have known. Days right. It's fine. We've still been listening though. Yeah, yeah. you kind of get enough. <laughs> oh, good. So so what, uh, what brings you today? You know us too. We love to discover new things. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> yeah. oh, preach we love it, it, son. We've realised we need to discover the most important thing: ourselves. Nice. You know what I mean? Um, so we've just been working on that. Um, what makes us tick? You know. Uh, it turns out I love arts and crafts. Oh, that's me. Can he get enough of it? So creative, um, man. I made Stonehenge out of. The inside of toilet rolls. <laughs> Unfortunately, yeah, it seems like a Phil Gale has, has ruined them. <laughs> and obviously, Phil Gale's my wife's name. <laughs> you can imagine what it was like, though. Uh, yeah, look at you. Know, looks oh, so yeah. that, was a, that was a bag of prunes wasted, wasn't it? <laughs> oh, that's my boy. That's my boy right there. I look good. Oh, obviously, I'm on a, I'm on a ticking time clock. A ticking time <laughs> clock. <laughs> One of them time I love that phrase, though. I've got to, I've got to go to prison after this oh, for the murder of my wife. Me and my boy have been travelling the UK to see all the sights before I get locked away. <laughs> what a beautiful the story! Brutal murder of my mother. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> did, did, did you kill her? Oh yes, sir. <laughs> uh, uh, there's no doubt about it. Fully, fully uh, commit to <laughs> Wait, it as well. Right. No, that's not what I meant to say. You wouldn't do it again, though, would you? <laughs> <laughs> I would. I probably would, mate. But I have to say, I've got a bucket list. Of, of 10 of the best things I want to do before I go to prison for, oh, right. for life and might get killed in what's, prison. What's, what's number one on your bucket list? I'm going to go skinny dipping in every single big body of water in the UK. That's, no. that's funny because I thought your bucket list number one was a stealthy handle. Oh, I'd have a little bit of Oh, <laughs> son! We'd have a wee laugh about that. <laughs> anyway, Dad, tell them, tell them about where we've been. <laughs> so we were in a, in a hotel in Rochdale. Oh, we yeah. were, we've actually got a picture. Um, it's for the folks at home though, but it's it's great. It's I'll just tell you that night in the travel lodge was fantastic. Oh, beautiful! Thank you for making one of my last nights on this god-forsaken planet. It's such a great night. With you don't get the electric chair, are you? Oh, I probably should do. Which leads me to uh, our next place that we went to, son. Of course, we went to a blockbuster in Plymouth, as you oh. can see for yourself there. We we just had a good time. I went and in and I said, I want to rent a dirty movie. Do you remember that, son? No, I was stood outside. <laughs> you said you were using the toilets, but no. No, I went in and I demanded a dirty movie for me and my boy to watch. Together? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> it looks it looks shut down, the blockbuster, doesn't it? Yeah. It's been abandoned for about 12 years. Yeah. <laughs> but I had a full-on conversation, I swear you, at the checkout. And uh, the, the, the man behind, he smelled of piss and vinegar. <laughs> and he said to me, we don't do dirty movie. If you good self there, I can confirm with my dad smells of piss and vinegar. Because <laughs> this may explain what's going on here. <laughs> you... <laughs> you're still in the you're still in the window of the blockbuster. <laughs> Just shouting. Oh, run. you're kidding me, son. No, you didn't get any sleep at the travel lodge, did you? No, I was up all night bombing Tom Lundy, mate. <laughs> That's why I got the thought of a dirty movie in my mind. Happy about this. <laughs> Do you remember that? You don't look too happy in that picture either. <laughs> anyway, we went to Butthole Lane. Oh. Uh, I know just you two. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, Great. Okay, you know went. Mean? Uh, it was funny though, isn't it? Butthole. Butthole Lane. Oh, yeah. So fucking lane. <laughs> <laughs> Who thinks of these words, man? <laughs> Again, it's still a piss of vinegar there. Yeah. One comment to nominate on this. Which is weird because buttholes don't normally smell of piss. <laughs> <laughs> smell of poo. <laughs> And, 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 and that was one of our first discoveries. <laughs> <laughs> That's a joke. <laughs> you can read in a book, The World As We Know It. That was a real undercover investigation, by, by Des son. By Well, we went to Cadbury's World, as again you can see. But after that, we uh, we lost battery in our camera. Uh, <laughs> and we decided to give it. up because if we don't have photographic evidence, what's the fucking point? Well, we didn't give up. We just got a little bit more pissed. Uh, <laughs> oh, that's so true. One, so. one morning, we woke up at the arse end of Devon. Uh, no, no, your fiance. No, no, no. Oh, no. 
Oh, yeah, there's not what we did. Uh, we also went to uh, Paul Grady's holiday home in Wrexham. Oh. It's, it's great. Yeah. So many memories, son. Yeah, yeah. Dad, uh, should we tell him? Should we tell him about <laughs> when we had a look over Adrian's wall? <laughs> oh yeah. So, as a wee nipper, right, my father used to sit me down on wee knee and say, "Hey, boy, up north in Scotland, there's a big place called Adrian's Wall." So we went, we went, and I peeked over. Yeah. They're having gay orgy. It turns out Adrian is a gay man, when and he has a lot of gay sex. Do you remember that? No, I remember. We peeked over the wall and saw his wife breastfeeding, which was <laughs> far less offensive than the gay orgy angle you've got. Ah, oh, gay orgy's not offensive. Everyone does it. We did it in a travel lodge. You remember, son? With Tom Looney. And of course, lastly, we went to the set of Butterside Down. Right. Which uh, which oh. was great, wasn't it? Oh, so many memories. Yeah. <laughs> it was it was just fantastic to think, you know, this is where the great show was made, and we're now part of history. Uh, you know, being with yourself there, yeah. the main man. Well, he stole the show for me. You know, <laughs> so you should go to jail for stealing the show, my friend. Fantastic. <laughs> That's funny because I've gone to prison and I'll probably die. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, yeah, you did, you did kill my mother, yeah. Dad. So it's probably Deserve just it, really yeah. so. Anyway, we'll see you. <laughs> Come on, Dad, let's get you to Stingery Show. <laughs> that was interesting. Yeah. I can't believe they didn't have any champagne. <laughs> Bastards. The kiss was nice, though. Yeah, yeah, it really was. You deserved it. You yeah. popped my cock. <laughs> hey. uh, well, uh, <laughs> clapping, popping your cock <laughs> every time. Every should we? Should we have uh, an old classic here? Dave Raves. It's Dave's Raves. Dave's Raves. Gotta get those Dave's Raves. He's angry. You know when you go on an all-inclusive holiday. Yeah, preach uh, it. Yeah. You know you go to a buffet, mm. and Love you a see, buffet. and you see someone walk past oh, with a plate of food, and you're like, where the fuck did they get that from? Oh yes. Because I've been walking around this buffet for ages yeah. and I can't mm. find what they've got on their plate is there a secret room yeah. that we don't know about and only the elite know about this room <laughs> so uh, <laughs> the fat cats and, at the top <laughs> I know what you mean Dave do you know do you get it I went I went on holiday when I was younger there's a room and I think it, it, it went off around the corner it was a massive like dinner hall whatever it was but there's someone had a massive plate of these sweet pastries yeah. and oh. just like you said I was going where the where hell where that from yeah. you know sure I was I was stuffed with ice cream. But, uh, it's always room for Could have tackled some pastries. Yeah. I, I, I thought about it the other day, and I was like, this does my head in. I want, all I want is a sausage. Yeah. Like, you know the fake sausages they do over there? Well, like like the little the, ones. Yeah, like the red ones. ones yeah, you know? I know what you mean. Not really porky, but they, still, they do the job. They do the job. Yeah. Uh, I want to know where they are. I'm only finding stuff like Ash Browns, which, don't get me wrong, I do like an Ash Brown. We all love Ash Browns. But I want to find these little red fake sausages. Yeah. Like... But have you it, not have you not thought about opening a dialogue with the person with the food? I do, but usually they're different language, and ah, I I don't course. speak I don't speak English half the time. <laughs> so You're great at Welsh yeah. though. <laughs> yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. So uh, yeah, and I they, I just talk to them, they just stare at me. Yeah, yeah. So uh, of course, some people take more than a fair share, don't they? So exactly. Like if someone good take goes this. out, you know, if you're not there at that moment, it's gone. You know, or you could eat buffet. What do you, what do you make of people that uh, take stuff for the rest of the day? Like from the breakfast. I tell you, the bag you can do that. Is that not people, people that bag things for later. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I'll tell you what my issue is is uh, is if I have something sweet for breakfast, that's it for the day. Then yeah, I'm just can't. like on a sweet, sweet right. path, and uh, I just get a load of bacon, hash brown, sausages, scrambled egg, you name it. Apart from tomatoes, I'm not a fan of tomatoes. A hot tomato is a dangerous prospect, oh, Dave. <laughs> Stay well away. Hey. Mushrooms. Got to love a mushroom. I do yeah. love a mushroom. Yeah. Anyway, uh, apologies for going that's, off. That's that's right. Uh, next on the topic is: uh, Can animals get disabilities like humans? Yes. Yeah. Like cerebral palsy and that. Oh well, I mean. Or autism. Um, yeah, I guess. <laughs> I don't know Show me autism. an autistic <laughs> owl, <laughs> and I'll pay you five pounds. Like I'm pretty sure my nan's grandma's dog. She's got ADHD. So I, I, I just never knew that. Like, could, I don't know. Well, they can get yeah. cancer. Animals, uh, yeah, of course, yeah. yeah. I guess I think it's a bit about with money, really. Like, mm. would you? How much money would you spend looking a into dog. autism in in, in cats? Yeah, like, I, I'm thinking like they, they do. They do lash out. Yeah, I don't I know, know if that means autistic. It almost certainly exists. You know, it's just a yeah. yeah. 
pray and go. Pray and go. Anything else, Dave? Uh, no, that was Dave's race. Dave's, Dave's race. race. Gotta love that Dave's race. He's thoughtful. Yeah. <laughs> now we turn to the wackiest man in all of Taiwan. <laughs> <laughs> it's Tom Looney. Looney, 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 Looney. Uh, so, with the uh, the theme this week being Great Britain, yeah, uh, I've taken a little look in the archives and found some what did things. What you call that... it? Great Britain. Hey! Hey! <laughs> yeah, there's that. Uh, <laughs> but, but I've gone for not so Great Britain. Oh! Yeah, you know, we uh, history is written by the the winners, <laughs> and we have been and the stories serial winners. Yeah, uh, oh. and so a lot of our misdeeds have been kind of uh, brushed under, brushed over. Yeah, mm. brushed under the rug. Mm. Uh, so it's, it's it's a little heavy. Sorry, is, is Misdeeds a sequel to Adam Sandler's hit film, <laughs> Mr. Deeds? <laughs> <laughs> He's won! He's won! <laughs> oh, he plays both parts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's all about the great British atrocities <laughs> throughout history. So to begin with, uh, concentration camps in the Boer War. What people don't realise is uh, many years before you know, the Holocaust and mm. uh, obviously... Uh, Hitler and that. Hitler and that. Uh, the British were well ahead in uh, making concent- concentration camps and mm. taking war to the civilians rather than soldiers. Is the yeah. so is the the equivalent of Auschwitz, but a British one? Uh, well, we've probably do done abroad? much worse over the. I mean, the British Empire was for hundreds of years. Yeah. Wasn't it? yeah. So, uh, yeah. like this one in particular. So basically, in so it's the the regions are in like what modern day South Africa. So we got forced out of there, and then they discovered gold and diamonds there. So we went back. Uh, and golden we, diamonds? Yeah, so, well, gold and diamonds. Oh, right, okay. Yeah, and uh, so we practiced something called scorched earth, mm. where we basically just burnt everything. And uh, in the concentration camps, it was mainly women and children. And it was Jesus. like about at least 60,000 people, the estimate, died. Oh, uh, Britain. Mostly women and children, yeah. Jesus. So that's... It's that. But- that's that. On the one hand, Britain has that. They also have Noel Fielding. (laughs) The Amritsar Massacre. Now, we've got... uh, So, India was considered the jewel of uh, the British Empire. Yeah. It's very rich in um, all sorts. Yeah. So, uh, a lot lot of of shit's going on there. Um, Silk. Yeah, so this one in particular. uh, So, there'd been a a government decree from from London um, passed through. So to stop people from meeting because because Gandhi was around yeah, yeah, yeah. and people were starting to kind of rebel against uh, the British rule, yeah. and so uh, some peaceful protesters went to celebrate a religious festival, but they were in a garden and it was a walled garden. So they they barricaded the doors and stationed themselves on top of the walls and they they fired on them until they ran out of bullets. Bloody so hell. in the space of ten minutes, they killed a thousand and uh, injured another thousand Jesus. until they ran out of bullets. So uh, Brigadier Dyer, uh, who was the one that uh, basically organised this, uh, was lauded a hero by the British public. Uh, he got a nice thank you, and the taxpayers banded together to give him a nice £26,000 to say Jesus thanks Christ. for his work in the region. 26000 back then. Yeah. <laughs> so last one uh, was the... Uh, so I think this one gets brought up a lot because of the controversy surrounding Churchill. Yeah. And uh, whether he's a hero or not. Um, and I think, realistically, he's synonymous with the war. And so there's always going to be such statues of Churchill. He was a great leader in that time, but also had a nasty side to him. India was very poor at the time, so in the Beng- it was in the Bengal region. Um, they just was people were very poor. They couldn't afford food, and there was a dying crop at the time. But it was the British. Uh, at the, it was their reaction to it that caused the famine. They were sending it all over the place at the time. They were they were making a lot of stuff to send to China, and obviously that was worth a lot of money. They were sending stuff to the troops during the war, sending stuff to Greece, and millions, I think it was four million people, starved to death God. From, him, from him diverting food away. And so when he was talking about it, what he's been accredited with privately is saying, I hate Indians, they're beastly people with a beastly religion, and he said the famine was their fault for breeding like rabbits. A lot of our exports of grain and various other food foods was at record high so oh. it's, it, it's safe to say there wasn't really such a famine as such but more of an engineered starvation that killed millions of people would you so, uh, yeah. advise people to go out and pull down the nearest Winston Churchill statue no no I don't think we should do that okay. push it <laughs> Maybe. Yeah. give it a little kick and that paint. no make sure you're wearing steel toe cap boots yeah. if you're going to do that 
right. I, I mean, mean croc wear is there's there's no point, is there, in tearing down? Uh, yeah. I mean, I, I do get you know with your history, kind of, certainly slave traders and stuff. You know, it makes sense to. Mm-hmm. I can just, just walk past and call him a pussy. Yeah. Yeah. Could do that. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you thank you that? for Tom Looney. Yeah, yeah. Incredible. Amazing. Let's, let's whack him more educational yeah, this week. Yeah, you know, I just thought it's kind of rebalance things a little bit, you know. Sure. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Should we go back to the, the wacky world of Put It To The Max? Okay. Uh, right then. Hi, fellas. I've got a situation that I could do some help with. Around January this year, my granddad got diagnosed with terminal cancer and the doctors gave him a maximum of a year to live. Before you offer me sympathy, you should know that he is, there's no other way of putting it, a massive cunt. He's been a bell end to me and my brother our whole lives, but now he's dying. He's decided he wants to be sound with us. We're not having it, and it's caused a lot of friction between me and my mum. So I do, do I pretend to be pleasant for another few months or stick to my principles and not put up with this bullshit just because he's dying? Uh, That's from Joe. That's a nice one. Real, real easy That's one. Nice yeah. one. <laughs> if it's going to make your mum feel better, I'd say just go along with it. Yeah. He's going to die... Uh, so just whatever makes your mum happy because she's going to stick around for a bit longer hopefully <laughs> um, yeah but they've ultimately won because he's dead net, like dying yeah. so yeah. technically they've won over him on that one uh, it's, it's just going to be a negative exactly. feeling on your side but I don't know what he's done no. I mean there's that levels there's levels to yeah. this and I'm, I'm assuming it's your mum's dad if, if yeah. she's the one you know so I'm someone that would yeah. hold a grudge and would maybe be like screw you yeah don't I'm going to help you now yeah uh, if it's just going to make him feel better, if he has been awful, I get that. But if yeah, if he's if he's not done anything that bad, yeah. then and there's going to be years to come to yeah. talk about your relationship with him and you know how he was, but maybe now when with all the emotion of him dying for your yeah. mum, just you know, just grin and bear it. Yeah, grin and bear through. it. You know, unless yeah, as you said, unless he's done something yeah awful, uh, then yeah. if that's the case, let us know. Yeah, or the and we'll amend uh, our advice. Yeah, the <laughs> uh, okay, uh, hi Max, Stephen, Tom, and Dave. I'm I'm a 19 year old girl with little to no self confidence. I'm quite shy and struggle with nerves. I've got some job interviews coming up soon, and I'm shit scared. Any advice on how to handle nerves? Thank you. Really loving the podcast. Makes my day. Never fails to make me laugh. Keep it up, and that's from Evie. Nice one, Evie. Evie. You're 19, going to a job interview. Uh, yeah, it'll be tough, um, but I mean, what, that's five minutes, mm. I assume. I've not really been to a lot of them. <laughs> My interview with Stephen was very tough. Uh, <laughs> it was. Yeah, with a job interview, uh, you got to remember, I think it's good to to always ask them questions because instead of just being, you know, you on the spot, if you ask them questions, it sort of makes them try and validate their job to yeah. you as well. That's a, that's a good tactic to use. And if you can make it more of a conversation, it is less yeah. intimidating than just answering questions. And also, if you come yeah, if you come along as a come across as a human being, yeah. you're yeah. more likely to hire you. Then. Yeah, it's how it's how you are speaking to them. Yeah. There's no point saying everything right if you if you blank everyone yeah. when you walk in the office or yeah. whatever. I, I I guess say- it doesn't matter how confident you are. Like if if it's a job that you want, there's always going to be a bit of nerves because you know that you're kind of you're up against other people and you've Shows got a, you care. you've got a few minutes and you've got to smash it. So yeah. you know, don't worry about being nervous. Just you know, don't let it cripple you, and it will get easier with the more you do. And there's loads of jobs. Yeah, I say to imagine them naked. Uh, it depends on, on the job. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so this is my that. son. Yeah, you'll be babysitting. <laughs> <laughs> Or have a drink before you go in. <laughs> Get leathered. Yeah. That's what you did for your interview, wasn't it? <laughs> kind of remember that you were just going like this during our interview. <laughs> <laughs> down, boy, down. <laughs> I need this. The job. You're just going, I'm going to work hard. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna give you all I got. Uh, hope that helps. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay, this one. Uh, so this one is aimed at you, uh, dear Max, Stephen, Dave, and Google. <laughs> Can you see that? Oh, that's Fucking wacky. hell! Nice. Right. Keep reading. I love the vibe. Okay, it is explained. I'm the world's biggest fan of IMAX. So over a few minutes a week is not enough to. Uh, so satiate my desire to consume reviews of the newest freshest movies I often find myself waking up in cold sweats having dreamt of Max reviewing fresh flicks such as Citizen Kane and Ghost with Whoopi Goldberg (laughs) how do you recommend dealing with this is there any substitute that can quench my thirst for the hottest movie reviews Philip he says P.S. Bring back Wank Radio for part three. <laughs> oh, yes, man. <laughs> On the mic. Yeah, real fun there. So, uh, I'll give you that book. Cheers, Philip. 
Nice Just watch them on repeat, mate. Get yeah. those numbers up, get those views up, yeah. get those clicks up. So I should say, we've also had emails from uh, Philip's uh, sister and his uh, his girlfriend. They're Basi- worried, are they? Very basic saying worried. Uh, this is one from his sister. Um, is, is Philip perhaps... He's become a bit obsessed, uh, particularly with IMAX. It's all he talks about and he spends all his time listening to it. Um just listening and, and laughing at all hours of the morning. Um, wondering if you could do him a favour and tell him to get a life and stop obsessing over IMAX. We've tried to tell him, but he just won't listen. Could I yeah. suggest maybe this Philip has yeah. emailed in as a wacky joke and has then created two more email accounts to pretend to be his girlfriend? No, no, no. I mean, somebody's really interested in breaking that fourth wall this episode, <laughs> and which I am not again. Fuck maybe you Philip, now. Philip should get a life. <laughs> <laughs> Philip, send more emails in. I Whether that's Philip, emails. Holly, or Sammy. <laughs> Cheers, P Dog. <laughs> uh, we'll bring back Wank Radio. Maybe on the podcast. <gasps> DJ Mike and Steve. Yeah, yeah. On the mic. Back to IMAX. Thank you so much for your, uh, yeah. you know, yeah. watching the views. Uh, I've just had one little mo- one, one here that uh, I just thought. Uh, this is from Sarah Louise. She probably didn't think it was going to get read out, but she's been having a tough, tough time at home over lockdown with her. Uh, Issues with the parents and stuff, but she just wanted to. Uh, I don't want to get too into it. It's quite heavy, but she said, "Thanks for all the great content. It's really helped out." And nice, made a smile. Thank you, Sarah. No, thank, thank you. you. Yeah. We'll keep making podcasts. Much love to you. And uh, just like the first first one, uh, they will die soon. Mm. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> uh, no, sorry, sorry, Sarah. Uh, thank you for for watching, listening to the, to yeah. the podcast. Um, I'm glad that it yeah brings you joy. Yeah. Maybe might be like, getting ahead of myself, but. Uh, yeah, it's a nice escape, I guess. Um, I'm sorry to hear about your home life, but lockdown will will be less and less, so you can get out more and live your life to the yeah. fullest. Yeah. And you know, we may we joke a lot about on this podcast, but mm-hmm. you know, it's, uh, it's it's a nice thing to do, mm-hmm. uh, the podcast. And it's, it's I'm, I'm happy that it's brought you joy. Oh. Yes. Brilliant, man. Yes, well yeah. done, love. Yeah. Not well said. <laughs> no, no, I thought I it was great. a lot, but, you know. <laughs> it's proper fucking words. Well, thank you very much for watching the Stephen Trice podcast. That was great, Britain. Um, <laughs> I don't know about that. What a roller coaster. <laughs> I've been joined by David Rees. Thank you. Max Smith. Thank you. Tom Looney. And Joe McGrath. Um... Join us next week when uh, we'll be talking again. <laughs> Bye. You got that right. Yeah. 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 Yeah.